A few days ago, the European Union announced that they would be investing around $50 million into building more hydrogen stations in Europe. So this got me thinking, are people in Europe actually buying hydrogen cars? And then I thought, you know what? If I made a video about this, no doubt about it, people would say, no, 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 you're wrong, Viking, because people are going to be buying hydrogen powered trucks. That's the future of heavy duty haulage. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. This is what they say. Is this actually true? Now, hydrogen powered trucks have been available now for many years. So have buses, so have cars. Are sales of these vehicles increasing? Does that justify the European Union putting all this money into building out all these hydrogen stations for cars, trucks, and buses? Is that why they're doing it? Well, let's have a look at the numbers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Fantastic to see you. This channel is called The Electric Viking. Obviously, I support electric cars and believe they're the future, but not even that. I believe electric trucks are the future. That may or may not necessarily be cars. I mean, trucks like the semi. It could be trucks that have replaceable batteries. That's a big thing now. So I don't personally believe the future involves hydrogen powered vehicles of any kind at all. None. Nada. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? More and more people are starting to agree with that. In the past, a lot of people are saying, yeah, it's not going to work with cars, but definitely the, the future of heavy haulage is hydrogen powered. I don't think it is. However, if it were, you would think sales would be, say, increasing maybe by, say, 1% or 2% per year. Yeah. Now we're seeing these vehicles become available. They are available. You can buy them. Are companies buying them? Well, actually, they're not. In 2018, 161 buses, coaches, M2 and M3 sized vehicles that were hydrogen powered were purchased throughout the entire European Union. 161. The following year, that number declined a little bit until in 2020, it declined all the way down to around 90. In other words, the sale of buses, coaches came down in hydrogen powered vehicles as the technology has slightly improved over the years. The number of companies saying, yeah, let's buy one of those has decreased or governments buying them. When it comes to commercial vehicles, the number has, well, not really changed at all for five years. It's been around 270 to 300, give or take one or two here and there for five straight years. In other words, adoption of commercial trucks hasn't changed at all for five years. And the total number of only 300 in 2022 is really less than 1% of all vehicles sold in the commercial sector in the European Union. In other words, hydrogen powered trucks are not taking off at all. Now, amazingly, hydrogen powered cars have actually had a different response. They've gone up significantly, but that's a little bit misleading. In 2014, 65 hydrogen powered cars were sold in the European Union. Fast forward to 2018 and the total number was 821. Only two years later, that number had more than doubled and the hydrogen world was celebrating a great success. Hydrogen powered cars are up 120% and they said, we told you so, we told you electric cars are not the future. Everyone wants a hydrogen powered car. Now that was the year when 1,841 hydrogen powered cars found new homes. The reality is though, the majority of those were bought by governments. Governments wanted to buy them. Not sure why. We did it here in Australia and um, we only have two hydrogen stations to serve around 15 million people. Strange. And the following year, hydrogen powered vehicle sales increased yet again from 1,841 to 2,003. Last year, they sold even more than that, 2,100. And they celebrated yet another success. So is this actually relevant are hydrogen powered cars therefore winning the battle against electric cars for the technology of the future as bmw toyota and honda would like you to believe even general motors is in on the act we found out that they've been secretly working on a hydrogen powered car with honda for the last few years only a month ago well the truth is the european car market is actually around 15 million cars per year so 2,000 out of 15 million represents a pretty small percentage. In fact, hydrogen powered cars represent 0.01% of all cars sold last year in the European Union. So I do find it a little bit strange that European Union is ignoring those numbers and continuing to invest in hydrogen powered fuel stations. It just doesn't seem like the demand is there. 
but then maybe there's something that I'm missing. Maybe some sort of policy, some sort of politics. If you're in Europe, let us all know what that is because this just doesn't make any sense. Thank you for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.